so uh, I'm representing the R&D department of Oxial and I'm responsible for the research uh, in the field of thermosetting polymers. So in my today's uh, presentation, I will cover the application of tubal in thermoset coatings and thermoset composites. So starting from uh, application of tubal in coating, uh, I would like to address your attention that when we uh, look at tubal as an additive, uh, in fact, is a complex additive with a multiple of uh, features. For example, uh, if you aim for conductivity, you should also uh, take into account that there are many other properties listed here. Uh, if you make a coating with tubal, it may play a positive role on the one side because uh, you can possibly make this coating more strong by improving the abrasion resistance. Uh, you, you can make it more UV stable or more anti-corrosive. So, uh, in our research work uh, last year, we covered uh, basic major uh, coating types. It's self-leveling compounds, thin thickness top coats, and gel coats. Uh, so, as all of these uh, coating types, they have uh, the same technology of formulating a compound. It's uh, the using a mixer. Uh, we have created we have created the line of products called Tubal Matrix for each of these applications. So these uh, concentrates, they are containing uh, predispersed uh, nanotubes that can, be, uh, that can help to easily incorporate Tubal into the system. So I would highlight our uh, results in antistatic floor coatings. Uh, First of all, we can declare that we can uh, cover basically all the range of resistivity uh, for the listed applications. We can get, uh, uh, thanks to the low dosage of uh, CNTs, we can get uh, the colored solutions. And another one, a third benefit is that we can uh, there is a possibility to remove the conductive primer because uh, our nanotubes, they form the 3D conductive network so that the charge can travel on the surface and inside the volume. So, and uh, that sounds good, but uh, at the beginning of this year, we have encountered uh, many problems such as uh, self-leveling of the flooring compound uh, if we look deeper at, when we look deeper at the problem, uh, we understood why this happens. Uh, first of all, if we see the rheology profile of uh, standard uh, self-leveling compound, uh, it's already a tixotropic. Uh, uh, that, uh, that is because of the additives like uh, fume silica or some uh, polymeric uh, tixotropic agents which are needed for, uh, for example, for compound storage stability or uh, anti-sagging. So uh, what, what happens when we introduce tubal in such type of formulations, uh, it, becomes, it can become uh, excessively tixotropic. So uh, at the beginning, we uh, made uh, several solutions uh, like um, reformulating this system. We advise to reformulate. Uh, to remove uh, the uh, tixotropic agents that were inside the formulation or add some dispersing agent. Uh, but finally, I'm sorry, this, uh, ah, yes. Uh, but finally, we have mm, uh, the uh, more universal solution. Uh, it's a new tubal matrix for flooring. So if we compare uh, with the previous uh, modifier that was uh, recommended for flooring application, it's matrix 201, and you see the percolation curve, uh, the function of tube resistivity on the tubal concentration. Uh, you will see that we, we have a significant uh, shift of uh, this per percolation curve to the left to the area of smaller concentration. 
And what it brings, uh, by reducing the concentration of uh, tubal uh, to this such a low level, we uh, got rid of the problems with viscosity, with self-leveling. And uh, uh, as you can see in this table, uh, we uh, are able to cover the all the range from conductive to static dissipative uh, uh, resistivity range. Uh, at the dosage of uh, tubal matrix uh, below 0.1% uh, by weight. So I am switching to composites. Uh, because uh, the tubal forms a uh, conductive and reinforcing network in the polymeric materials, uh, we can expect in uh, composites that we will have uh, simultaneously uh, enhancing the resistivity and, of course, bringing some reinforcement to these materials. Uh, basically, uh, we can, uh, currently we can introduce uh, tubal uh, inside the composite materials uh, with all basic technologies of uh, composite manufacturing. Uh, the solutions are the same as for coatings. Uh, this is uh, tubal matrix uh, concentrates, which can be diluted in the host matrix, and then you uh, make the composite uh, using this modified uh, resin. So, uh, if we speak about the conductive applications, uh, uh, during the last year, we have um, uh, scaled up uh, the number of uh, application and uh, commercial sales of uh, these products. Uh, here are some examples. Uh, these are filament uh, wound uh, pipes, uh, glass fiber reinforced gratings, uh, profiles, and many more. So here we also can uh, fulfill the basic requirements on the antistatic properties. And if we are then talking about the reinforcement, so this is our the next uh, our next goal, uh, which uh, which we are doing, uh, which we are pursuing now. So uh, we are want to develop the product uh, in the form of tubal matrix, especially for reinforcement of composites. So this process is not uh, easy because you have uh, a lot of parameters that you have to take into account. Uh, the R&D process usually includes, uh, first of all, the choosing of proper carrier material for this matrix. It should not uh, reduce the mechanical properties itself. Uh, we should optimize the dispersion degree of tubal itself. And there is a possibility of tubal treatment or tubal functionalization. So this research uh, is ongoing, uh, but already we have uh, number of uh, good results. So this is uh, uh, the uh, glass fiber reinforced uh, composite based on uh, the epoxy resin. So we used the uh, special resin that is used uh, in the composite industry and uh, glass fabric. And we uh, did this uh, composites using uh, hand layup. And we got the improvement, for example, here in interlaminar shear strengths up to 30%. But of course, it is not the limit because our research is uh, still ongoing. So, uh, if we are uh, to conclude uh, my presentation, uh, we still uh, continue to work uh, in the field of coatings. Uh, there are uh, highly uh, they, they are fields which have high priority, like anti-corrosion, and very soon we, we are hoping to get the modifier for the market. Uh, and of course, we are working on reinforcement, our main focus, a reinforcement of uh, coatings and reinforcement of uh, composites. Okay, thank you for attention. Thank you, Dmitry.